Malaika, naku penda malaika, nami ni fanye che, kija na mwenzio, na shindwana malisi na we. Ninge kuowa, that's what he says. <laughs> That's such a beautiful song. Like, the more you reflect on these songs later in life, like, that just sounds like a man who just wanted to do right by his woman. Undiluted love. Undiluted love, guys. Undiluted love. Ilenda <laughs> wapi. Some of us still believe in love. I know about you all. But also, I'm so excited about this. Welcome to my new home. It's Welcome official. To, it's official with Janet Mbogwa. Um, this has been a long time coming, Moss. He knows. He knows. But I feel like I also don't want it to be too much. I don't think it's anything super new. It's still the conversations that I'm passionate about. It's still the perspectives, the various perspectives that I like to share. Um, speaking to people who... I admire some of whom you know, some of whom you don't know, or maybe do through other settings. But more importantly, I think it's really about going behind the numbers. There's always this thing around data coming out, right? 70% of this or 2 billion of that. What, is, what does that mean? Let's do a deep dive into those people's stories and try and understand where we're going. And I really hope this can be a way that we keep a scorecard around social impact issues that we can keep coming back to certain issues and be like, are we going like this or are we going like that? So, you know, I'm not the kind of person who wants to promo and launch and hard launch. I feel like I just want to quietly tell people we are... Official. We are official now. <laughs> the show is official. And it's a conversation series. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on audio platforms as well. I'm the kind of person that just likes to begin these conversations and see where they go. And I hope that we'll just continue to have honest conversations about the world we live in, about social impact issues that should have been addressed by now, but for some reason aren't. Um, and then, like I said, keep a score on especially social impact issues to do around social norms, whether that's reproductive health and rights, whether that's violence, whether that's economic empowerment. But again, it's a wide breadth of issues. One of the episodes... I'm talking about is around faith and then there's finances. So it's social impact issues that affect all of us, but um, unpacking the numbers to go into the story and maybe giving an official take on what needs to happen next. What's the drive that led you to starting It's Official? That's a really good question. I feel like my career has been around conversations in the newsroom, especially when I did Monday Special on Citizen TV. It was a social impact driven show that came every week. And I loved those conversations. And I'd speak to experts, but I'd also speak to storytellers. Um, and so years later, it's almost like a full circle moment where I'm going back to the conversations that were broadcast um, so wonderfully on TV but bringing this to a wider audience. And another thing that inspired me is the ability to now have my own voice and my own take on these issues, you know, because TV can limit how much you can say, but a conversation series like this allows you the autonomy to kind of give your own voice to it. So that's what inspired me. I love having conversations. I love having DMCs. I know sometimes I make Moss have them with me, but I know he enjoys them. <laughs> so it's a way to invite people into understanding the issues that are affecting them, understanding the role they can play as we collectively just keep a scorecard on how are, we, how are we faring as a society on some of the bigger issues that we're facing. So yeah, it's exciting. Awesome. And also to the people watching, mm -hmm. maybe we can ask what is that time or what's that one issue that got to you and you were like, it's official, I am ABCD. It's official, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's official, I'm broke was one. Yeah. Um, it's official, we are grappling with um, a reproductive health crisis. It's official, the family, the fabric of marriage or family is being compromised. A lot of these things, a lot of these conversations stem from an official, a moment where you're just like, whoa, it's official, 
guys. It's official, the divorce rate is skyrocketing. It's official, people are having more kids than they can afford to have. Um, and so it's also a play on my brand name, Official Janet Mbogwa. But I do, the way my mind works is something has to have an official stamp and then I unpack it. So to answer your question in a few ways, what drove me was, yes, it's a little bit of a creatively a play on my name, Official Janet Mbogwa. Number two, so many moments of saying it's official, we're in a climate crisis, it's official, we're having a huge pushback on reproductive health and rights. Um, and also just the fact that I do like to, I do like to speak from a point of a take. I don't like to just speak from nowhere and grapple in the dark and say, say things that are not rooted in numbers or confirmed data. I'm very big on that. And that's why you seek experts to... That's why I seek experts. Yeah, the experts unpack. But, you know, as you'll see in some of the episodes that we've already um, had, where you'll see me with this same hair, and I don't want you guys to hate on the fact that I will look the same in some episodes, come on this platform, not only for aesthetics, but also sometimes for aesthetics, but come for information. Seek experts, seek storytellers, seek truth tellers, and seek a collective way to keep score and, and, and keep track. Because I really feel like everybody should be involved in shifting something in this world. We can't always leave it to a select few people. If it's the cost of living, it's how can you begin with what you have to, to shift something differently? That one is sensitive because it's affecting, it affects very many different people differently. It's just an example. Um, if it's about protests, are you lending your voice? Are you just leaving it be? So what are, what are you doing? But yeah, I don't want to oversay what it's official is. It's a conversation series that's rooted in data and numbers to Moss's point with experts and unpacked with people who are either living that issue or people who have an authentic voice to that issue. That's, that's essentially what it is. But Moss and I have our banter series, and that one is called Offline. Or what Moss called BTS. Or what Moss calls BTS. I know it's BTS with Moss, but we thought it would be a really good idea to call it Offline, because literally those are the conversations we have offline that happen to make it online. Um, and thank you guys for following it so much. We really appreciate it. Yes, Moss is my therapist. Yes, Moss is all these things. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't want to burden him too much, but um, I love conversations. I love a good convo, so I'm excited to share them with you. And I love this neon light. It's so cool with the tick. Love it. The little joys in life. And I have Moss and an incredible team. Cyrus, Gado, Joanne. Yeah, it's, it's good. Guys, if my energy levels seem low today, which will be probably days or weeks later from when you'll see this, I've just had a really long week. Um, and I've had a crisis of faith. Like January was so good and February from mid-Feb has just been a little bit strange. So I've had a combination of a crisis of faith and low energy levels because I've been busier than I have been. And I'm, I love being busy, but it's been beyond. Um, but yeah, it was nice. One of the conversations I had was with Kambua and it was nice to unpack that and to be reminded what I need to tap into. So I know I need a good meal right now. I need a good nap and I need a good direction to remember the things that I hold to faith. So my body's shutting down, but my heart is still alive and beating. So welcome to the It's Official family, guys. Should I call, should I have a fandom and I call them officials? I should, yes. I should literally just let you guys decide because this thing of trying to be like, I'm gonna build a fandom and they're gonna be called officials. But guess what? I've baptized you officials. Poleni sana. Kama unangalia hi, karibuni sana. If you're seeing it's official, Welcome, fam. Welcome, officials, to the official with Janet Bogo family. See ya. <laughs>